Ladies and gentlemen, a map previously featured on Record Hunters, or a map builder, we should say, Cat's Lady Dota. Now with their backwards bouncing finish. Gonna start off in the Plinko starting piece. Double wide or single wide? Single wide with the nine blades. Gonna get you portaled into the exit portals. I assume then bouncing with a chance to land on the track or the funnels. Funnel's gonna reset you. Track gonna get you through. Merging down, flicker out, off the hair curler, up the manual elevator, double laser ferris wheel before you hit the stairs into the divide, drop it into the center track, swoop it out for a triple hair curler dismount. Then we got the pin pan finish. Uh oh, bongo pad. It, uh oh. Yeah, it's Lady Yoda's backwards bouncing finish. We'll see if we can do it. You gotta get through the pins, bounce off the bongo pad right through that tiny gap slit open. For the finish, here we go. 13 marbles ready to give it there. All oh, farce has a record of 149. Here we go. Vort there are 13 marbles down to the pickle board. Try to get through as quick as possible. Cecil says a pretty good line, but Drusco gets the perfect shot into the portals, and there's the bouncing. It but no bounce? Aren't they bouncing? Anyway, mystery coming in on the right hand side. Looks pretty good. Gonna get the transfer into the hair curl. Oh, whoosh, whoa, ho, hey, whoa, ha, ho, and, oh, and, hit. Oh, and they're going the back way. Okay, so Mystery down to the second place. Mystery finally making up their mind as they go forward with a very fancy New Year's ball. Just sparkling all over the place. So here they go from the manual elevator up to the top. Hit the boosters. One boost, two boost, straight through into laser Ferris wheel and dead immediately. Dress is going to take over in the lead. Going to try to do the exact same thing, but manages to get the outside line, which seems to be what you want. Use the blades of the Ferris wheel to protect you from the laser. Not quite getting it there. Ooh, Drusco getting close to that laser on that one. Tries to flick towards the middle. They're going to do it again. This is the strategy, ladies and gentlemen. It seems to be working pretty well for Drusco. Very narrowly dodges the laser as they go down in, up the, up the Ferris wheel, down the stairs, and into the divide. They're going to be going on the left-hand side. Right by, we got Kirozaka trying to make it through on those Ferris wheels. Chicken Root in third. Grenzelos in fourth. Spoochie dropping down as well. All trying to get past the laser without being eliminated. But Drusco's going down through the helix with a pretty good line. Coming up on the left-hand side as they try to get down into the dismount here. It looks like a pretty interesting dismount. You got the upside down track on the thing with the stuff and the who's and here we go into the uh, hair curlers we go triple hair curlers oh Droska dangerous and close on the right hand side to almost faltering out but manages to recover at the last second now needs to get past all the pins without being eliminated there's lasers on the back end there's pins up in the front end they gotta find the bounce back into the center as well watch out for those walls that are just raising up into the middle very it ooh walls raising up in front of pins I like it Droska coming down to the right hand side needs to dodge the lasers oh one two three four hits the bongo pad for the shot this is it! Drusco's gonna have to go back and try again. Chicken Roo just gets catapulted into the Shadowsphere. Is gonna try to skip shot all these lasers, but no, lands right into him instead. A very unfortunate circumstance. Spootry now in the lead, tries to go for the Bongo Pad. Much better in the center line. I think they've got it. They go straight through the middle, and Spootry scores! It's three points good for the middle line. And the Wall of Death is killing everyone because everyone else is dead. Every and Tutsay can't get up the hill. And hey, there we go. Okay, we got Tutsay maybe showed us how it's done. Whoa, 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 wow. Okay, and they're going back down. Okay, and Tutsay continue. And, 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 and it's J Cliff Gaming through on the fair. Whoa, whoa, these guys are really playing with fire. Did you say finally through? J Cliff or left hand side? Tutsay down the center. Trying to. Oh, uh, 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 there we go. Do two safe. <laughs> Get to the right hand side. Where is the wall? It's got to be close. It is. Jacob still farting around in the Ferris wheels there. Do two say Round the helix on the right hand side. The wall of death now making his move past. The main initial box. Will Tutsay be able to finish out in one minute remaining? They have to make it all the way through the pins, hit the bongo pad, and make the shot. Before the wall of death cuts him off. Perfect line up on the hair curler. So rolls to the right hand side. Almost falls to oblivion. But they will be able to just take the landing. They could be the second marble to finish this track here tonight. To do say left hand side. Look at the beautiful line of the barb Straight through the pins on the left hand side. Needs to watch out for the blasts here. Looking pretty good right now. Deflects the left hand side. Tries to get around that wall one more time. Now needs the perfect line through the lasers. 30 seconds left to go. Can to do say find it? They're going to be a little to the left. No, die straight to the laser. Yeah. 
that's gonna do it for, uh, ooh. Ooh, it's a tough one. I like it though. Ladies and gentlemen, Ronax 173 is abstract avalanche attack. Yeah, the free to build Vortex Open Side Beast Booster Straight Shot down to the bottom. Mogul Pan. Jump the Pan. Splish Splash. Take a Bath. Drop. Ooh. Is that really a vertical molasses trip Plinko? Free to build? Wow. Drop it down. Molasses Drip out of 45. Collection Pan Splish the other way. Swoop through. Drop it down into the wind bin. For free to build looks pretty fancy. Let's go to the top and see what, what it takes to come in first. Never mind. Anywho, into the makeshift express vortex jumper sorry piece. Some take the boost, some don't. And some get the corrective boost, some don't. Some are gonna be in an endless loop here. Wait a minute. Is this really an endless loop? Casco really. Are you uh oh. Okay, I thought I thought that was gonna be a long one. Anyway, so these are not an express vortex orbiter starting piece. This is a extended vortex orbiter piece, taking a full forty seconds for the barrels to exit. Paradox will be the first one out though. Comes up into the mogul pan, going through to the right hand side. Good bounce, good exit, and Paradox make sure we have feared whiskey not to be out number one hundred twenty six in the world, and we're seeing why right now. Drops down to the open pan, needs to be careful on the dismount, gets so. Paradox though with a really good drop down into the center, coming up in two. The makeshift Plinko board after the swish wash. Looking pretty good. Oh, Feared Whiskey gets a little better bounce of their own. Oh, some marbles trying to skip down to the bottom, including Tamri's going for it here. Down to the makeshift Plinko. Feared Whiskey looking pretty good. Swings to the right, swings to the left, into the last drip in. Oh, but stops up. Let's go with the other marbles have a chance to catch up. Can Paradot find the line? Lugo died. Paradot cannot find a faster line. Decimate. Fear. Nothing. Anybody tried? Cranson. Zoop! Feared Whiskey, down to the bottom. 128, going in for the finish. It's Feared Whiskey into the wind bin. You know, for a free-to-build track, I can't hate on it. Ladies and gentlemen, Yika, the unearthly alien jail. We got the octuple separator starting piece. Giving those alien tentacle drops down into the Plinko Cylinder. Plinko Cylinder dropping it down to the funnel. Funnel going through into, is that uphill? I don't know if it's uphill, but it's definitely flat. Oh, it's uphill. Into the uphill. There's a gate. There's a gear. There's anti-grav. Drop it down. What is that? Oh, anti-grav to the portal. Drop it down into the wind bin. Fun little characteristic. We'll see how it all plays out in the race. Let's go to the top and see what it takes. Take up it first. All right, here we go, folks. Five seconds counting down. Yika, the unearthly alien jam. It's like a vapor of the record, just under two minutes. There we go. The initial octuple separator starting piece. Everyone merges out into the tiny helixes. Going into the wiggle waggle. Be sure not to get stuck in the corner. Looks like nobody got stuck, thank goodness. Work the way down. Really good lines as they all swirl in, trying to get the two that is narrowers on the Plinko cylinder. Marbles plinkoing away, cracking with a good drop on the outside. Kira tries to join in as well. Three marbles all go down at the same time. Not too many just stalling in the funnel there. And that, oh, there's the gate closes off. So Grenzenlos is the one through. The rest go. Some marbles trying to cheat ahead. An unwise decision, although Paradox might be close. Ooh. And Grenzenlos. Pressure's on. If Grenzenlos doesn't make it, the whole map is a bust. No pressure. How does this take more than two minutes? Uh, 
Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye. Bye. The irony is it's such an easy fix. It hurts. It hurts. Should we Thursday flare it? Is that the problem? We need... We can't see what's happening? That's the problem? All right. There we go. All right. The marbles work their way through. To the alien tubes. Looking good. No marbles stuck in any of the corners. Thank goodness. Troska having a little bit of trouble, but continues moving forward. Down into the Blinko Cylinder. Marbles trying their best. Kraken's already down to the bottom. Into the uphill. You know, sometimes bad tracks are just bad. Sometimes, sometimes a bad track is just bad. 